Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this tutorial, we're gonna go through the folder structure of the video files that I've provided for you for the rest of this course. So with no further ado, let's go ahead and open up that folder. So I've already downloaded the folder and I've placed it on my desktop. The folder is called Video Editing Workshop Project. We'll click, double click and go inside. And I've got three folders already created for you. One is the Exports folder. If we click inside, there's nothing there. That's because this is where I like to put all of my renders of my project whenever I'm finished with my editing process. Then we have our media folder. Now this is gonna be full of files, so just bear with me. Under animations, we've got a few titles, files like my name, lower third, and a couple of other things I'd like to focus on in the video piece that we'll be putting together. Then we have a Cut Yeti Zoom animation. And then we have a Google search editing software animation that I created before this class in After Effects. We also have some audio files. We have several music selections that we can choose from for this project. We have a number of different sound effects. Under graphics, we have a logos folder, and inside the logos folder is the Cut Yeti logo, which we'll be using in this video. We don't have any pictures, so this folder is blank. And under video, we have the talking head with sync sound. That's gonna be my video piece with the audio already synchronized to the video. Inside the elements folder, we have some glitches. Inside the lens flare folder, we have an organic light leak video clip. And we also have an, a distortions video piece. And under B-roll, we have a number of files um, of video editing. So some from the Overland Park Studio, a couple stock video pieces of editors, some frustrated editors, some hip editors, and a couple of keyboard close-ups just for good measure. And all of that is under our video folder. And all of this can be found in our media folder. Now, whenever I first create or get started on a project, I like to make sure that all of my files are properly organized. Um, what this does is it allows me to easily find files whenever I need them, especially say six months, a year later, after you think your project is completely finished, you decide, okay, I'm gonna go back and tinker with it. So, hey, this project was really good for 2019, but now that it's 2020, I'm gonna go ahead and go in there and revise a few things. So I'm not gonna reinvent the wheel and create a whole new project. I'm just gonna tinker with my old project and make it fresh for 2020. Well, by having all of your files nice and neat inside of a single folder structure, it's gonna make it very easy for you to go back, recreate the project, change what you need to change, and very quickly render the video so that you're doing it in a matter of minutes and not a matter of days. So that's why I like to keep everything nice and neat and organized. So again, just to recap, the exports folder is where I keep all of my rendered files once I'm finished with my video. Media is where I keep all of my video, audio, graphics, pictures, pretty much all the building blocks of what makes a video. And also there's a project files folder. This is where I save my project files. So by project file, I mean, for example, like your hit film project. So in the next tutorial, whenever we go in and start our project for this course, we'll be creating a hit film project file. And I will save those files inside of my project files folder. So with that, let's go ahead and dive into the next tutorial and we'll be starting up our project. See you soon.